Hi Hopewell, it's Wisdom Wednesday again. Thanks for coming back. I have a great story to read to you this week and some ideas for getting creative. But before we do that, I wanted to give you some names of some people who've also gotten up to over 20 points while we've been out. We have Carly Mann, Andrew Parker, Hadley Tinkle, Zoe Manning, Gavin Hogue, and Asher Gluckner. Great job, guys, on making over 20 points while we've been out. And if you noticed on Ms. Kaler's message that she sent this weekend, you can continue earning points for top reader in your class, in the school, top 10 in the school. You can continue to earn points toward that until May 1st. But when May 1st comes along, that doesn't mean that you have to quit reading for Accelerated Reader. You can continue through June 30th, and I hope that you will, and your points that you earn will go toward points for the AR store. So keep up the good reading, and I hope that you enjoy today's book, which is called Sky Color. Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. Quiz number 153474. Sky color. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint. She even had her very own art gallery. Not all her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to, to share ideas she believed in. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, I'll paint the sky. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint but could not find any blue. How am I gonna make the sky without blue paint? The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. All the way home, she stared out the window. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. Later at home, Marisol watched day turn into night. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. Marisol then began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky color. Yeah. One idea for being creative is making a snowstorm in your house. All you need is a kitchen counter, and some shaving cream. Now you will wanna ask your parents if it's okay if you do this before you get started, but to make a snowstorm, all you have to do, put some shaving cream on your kitchen counter, spread it out, and you can get busy drawing things like snowmen. And then when you wanna make something new, just erase it, and make something else.
bonus for your parents is this actually will clean it. All you, just rub it, rub it, rub it till it goes away and then take a wet paper towel and it's good as new again. Another thing that you might want to try while you're at home is making a stained glass window. Did you know that if you have some gift tissue and some tape, you can turn one of your windows into a stained glass window. Hopefully you'll try one of my ideas for getting creative this week, like Marisol and Sky Color. Maybe you'll make a snowstorm, maybe you'll make a stained glass window. If you don't have the things to do one of those ideas, then get outside with some sidewalk chalk and make some pictures on your driveway for people that are out walking this week. And I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.